My name is Connor Jackson. I am the CEO and co-founder of animal protection charity Open Cages. I'm an award-winning filmmaker and a proud graduate in film production from the University of Winchester. Open Cages is an organization which seeks to create a world free from animal suffering. Most chicken that British people eat comes from factory farms right here in the UK. But not only are these factory farms incredibly cruel for the animals, they are also ideal for creating deadly diseases. Our report examined this chicken industry where 1 billion chickens are reared in the UK every year. These chickens have been selectively bred over many generations to grow incredibly fast, so fast that they can be slaughtered at just five to six weeks old. They spend their entire lives in giant warehouses, in overcrowded conditions, which they will never leave, on flooring which is increasingly contaminated with their own waste. Unsurprisingly, this creates an ideal environment for the emergence and spread of diseases that not only kill the animals, but can also spread to humans. These animals are essentially experiencing chronic stress, which is a one-way ticket to the emergence of a disease. And the opportunities for a disease to transfer to a human are near constant. Our report revealed that this is far from a paranoid threat. Real-world precedents such as avian influenza, also known as bird flu, can be highly deadly to humans, and outbreaks are happening in the UK more so than ever before. Our major British supermarkets, such as Tesco, Audi and Co-op, are the leading retailers of chicken in the UK, and they wield significant influence and power over how these animals live. British supermarkets must sign the Better Chicken Commitment to begin addressing this. My name's Andrew Knight, and I'm a veterinary professor of animal welfare. One of the world's most severe animal welfare problems relates to the intensive farming of chickens for their meat. Within the United Kingdom, for example, nearly a billion chickens are intensively farmed each year. These birds have been selectively bred over many generations to gain weight as rapidly as possible. Their growth rates have increased by more than 300% in the last 50 years, meaning that they reach slaughter body weights at just five to six weeks of age. However, these really rapid growth rates mean that it can be difficult for the heart and circulatory system to keep up with the rapidly expanding body mass, and a proportion of these animals suffer from heart failure. It's also difficult for the bones, ligaments and tendons to keep up with the rapidly increasing body mass, meaning that a proportion of these birds become severely lame. This is quite painful in itself, but it also means that in the later weeks of their lives, when these birds are particularly heavy, they're unable to move around the sheds as freely as they would like to, and they have to spend longer and longer periods lying on flooring, which is increasingly contaminated with their own urine and feces, because the sheds are not cleaned out until all the birds are removed at the time of slaughter. This results in irritation and chemical burns to the feet, the legs, and the breast muscles of the birds. As their bodies become larger, it fills up the space available to them, meaning that they experience extreme crowding and the inhibition of their abilities to fulfill their highly motivated natural behaviours such as wing flapping, stretching, scratching and foraging. Such extreme crowding is very stressful to these very social animals. Unfortunately, prolonged stress weakens the immune system. And thousands of animals packed together in close proximity in unhygienic uh, conditions which are stressed create a perfect environment for the transmission of disease and unfortunately some of these diseases can then be transmitted to human beings as well increasing the risk of things like pandemics hence the conditions which are so bad for animals being intensively farmed can also be bad for people too this is why we're calling for major retailers to address these issues by adopting the better chicken commitment the Better Chicken Commitment is an ambitious animal welfare initiative endorsed by animal protection groups all over the world. It requires a company to ensure that 100% of their chicken supply chain meets certain higher welfare standards for broiler chickens by 2026. It includes the use of slower growing, higher welfare chickens, giving them more room and other major improvements, all leading to a significantly improved quality of life.